Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. 9 to the power of y plus 15 to the power of y equals 25 to the power of y. Now what do I do in this case? Okay, let me divide all through by 9 to the power of y. So divide this by 9 to the power of y and then divide this by 9 to the power of y. Remember there's a law that says if you're having the same base, you know, you can equally, you know, combine the powers if the powers are the same. Okay? Now what am I trying to say? I'm saying that if you have a over okay a to the power of b over c to the power of b okay this is the same thing as a over c both to the power of b okay as long as they are having the same powers you can combine the power in this form but in this case this will cancel this we have one over there then plus here we are going to have 15 over 9. Both of them are having the power of y. So we have to the power of y. Then equal to on the other side we have 25 over. Okay, so here we are going to have um, 9 right to the power of um, y. So this is what we have. And then we are going to continue with this. Remember from here, this is the same thing as 1 plus 15 here. 3 can go. 3 is a common um, factor, right? So 3 into 15, we're going to have 5. And 3 into 9, we're going to have 3. This is to the power of y. This is how to reduce to the lowest um, term. Then 15 here. There is nothing common to them, but we know that 15 is, okay, 25 is 5 times 5, and then 9 is 3 times 3, right? Now, this will be raised to the power of y. Now, if we continue, then we have y plus 5 over 3 to the power of y equal to here we have 5 squared over 2 squared to the power of y. Now, this is what I want to do. y plus 5 over 3 to the power of y is equal to 5 over 3 to the power of 2. Just like I did before, we have to do this, right? Okay. Okay, so we have um, the power of y outside over there. And then if we continue from here, we will have y plus 5 over 3 to the power of y equal to here. I can bring y in here and then take 2 outside, right? So we have y, I mean 5 over 3 squared. Right, and then the whole of this. Okay, I'm bringing y in here. So here we're going to have y. Then 2 is outside. Now, the reason I did this is for me to have 5 over 3 to the power of y in two places. Now, we are going to replace this. Okay, so let x be equal to 5 over 3 to the power of y. And if I do that, then in place of this, I'll have 1 plus the whole of this becomes x. And this will be equal to here. Now we're going to have x squared. Now if you arrange this better, you have x squared minus x, right? And then you have plus, um, okay, it's minus 1. And everything is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. And we can solve this by using um, okay by using the formula method, right? So if we use the formula method, 
we will have a to be 1, b to be equal to minus 1, and c to be equal to minus 1 as well. Because a is a coefficient of x squared, b is a coefficient of x, and c is a constant, which is minus 1. Now, let's get the formula. The formula is x equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. Okay? Now, the next thing I will do is to put in the value of abc into the formula here, so that we will have... Okay, so this is what we have. We have b to be minus 1. We have it here as well. That is b squared. Then we have 4ac. This is 4. a is 1 and c is minus 1 all over 2 times 1. x will be, this is positive 1, so we have 1, plus or minus, then square root of minus 1 squared will give us 1, then plus minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 will give us plus 4. Okay, and the whole of this will be over 2, meaning that x is equal to 1 plus or minus, we have, um, square root of 5. Everything is over 2. Now, this is a 2 in 1 solution, meaning that x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, remember that we are not looking for x, rather we are looking for y in the problem. But remember when we say that x is equal to 5 over 3 to the power of y. Okay, so to get the value of y, substitute the value of x here into this. So I'm going to pick this first value of x. So I will have um, 5 over 3 to the power of y to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay, so I don't want to give... Um, our answer in decimal, so I'm not going to get the value of square root of 5. Now, to get the value of y from here, you will just take the log of both sides, right? So that we will have um, log 5 over 3 to the power of y is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is what we have. And remember the law of um, logarithm that says the powers can always go behind. So that we have y log 5 over 3 equal to log 1 plus 5, okay, plus log, um, log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, right? Now, to get the value of y, divide both sides by log 5 over 3. Then divide the whole of this by log 5 over 3, right? So this way, y will be equal to, um, this will cancel this, right? y will now be equal to log, okay, remember, there's a law that says, if you have, um, if you have log a over log b, and both of them are having the same base, this is the same thing as log a to the base of b, okay? So this means that whatever we have here becomes the base of the numerator. So we are going to have log to the base of 5 over 3, right? And then here we have log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So this is the value of x. I mean, this is the value of y for the for the equation. But then remember that we got another value of x, right? Okay, so this is another value of x. And if you put it into this, you know, this equation as well, this is what you have as the value of y. So your y will now be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5. Okay, this is negative now. Okay. To the base, I mean over 2, to the base of 5 over 3. Okay, so this 
and these are the two values of y that will satisfy the given equation. Remember, this is negative.